Morning, everybody. Welcome to Rise and Shine with Cindy. You know, Jesus walked right out of the tomb after three days of darkness and dampness. You know, I kind of got the feeling he said that this is enough, and he just rose and walked right out of that tomb. And I think sometimes we need to rise up and walk right out of that place we're sitting in that's been stuck, if we've been stuck a little too long. We need to just walk right out of that spot. We need to come out and, and know that we've been living a little too long in that spot that's keeping us down. We may be been living in a little too much depression. Sometimes too much busyness every day, every day, every day can get us really, really stuck. Even though you're busy, you can't seem to get anything done and you keep spinning your wheels. Those kind of places are the places the devil wants us to be. He just says, yes, this is great. You stay there. Then you'll get tired enough. You'll get in doubt and you get frustrated enough. Then you get depressed. And then when you get depressed, you get a sorrow heart and you get anger and frustration. So the devil just loves us to stay in that tomb. He loves us to keep in that tomb. And these things are tomb dwellers. They make you stay in that tomb in that dark, danky place, that place where you just don't want to be. You're tired of staying in there. You're tired of the loneliness. I'm tired of being overwhelmed. I'm so tired of the frustration, tired of the depression, tired of not getting anything done. Well, those are tomb dwellers. We need to put on our resurrection clothes. You see, Jesus came and he resurrected and he's given us resurrection power for our lives. You know, it's time to live on the other side of the cross. Sometimes we'll stay on the, the dark side of the cross a little too long. But Jesus rose up and he said, resurrection power. And that's what he has given us. Resurrection power for our life. To take off those grave clothes. Put on your robe of righteousness that God has given you. Put on your robe of loyalty, a favor of blessings, of the Holy power, of the Holy Spirit's power in you to pull you right out of that space where you're at. That's what he does. Does. That's what he loves to do for you. And as he's trying, don't push him back and push him away. Start listening to the things that he says. And it's first going to start come with um, thoughts in your mind. And um, you don't, you'll start thinking, well, you know, maybe I should do that. Well, maybe you should, because that's the Holy Spirit pushing on you to try to help you rise up above the tomb. So get out of that tomb and start using your resurrection power in you for such a time as this. Let me pray. Sometimes we get stuck in being sad too long or stuck in frustration or we get stuck with, with uh, too much busyness and can't get out of it or just so many things that can keep us where we're at in that tomb. Let me pray for you. Oh, Heavenly Father, I just call on the Most High God. And Jesus, I know that I need to move out. I need to move out and, and, and get more, more joy in my life, get more power for my life. So I'm calling on you, Lord God, to raise me up, to show me in your word where I have the power and authority that I can speak to the devil, that I can tell that command that devil. He has no place in my life. His hand has to leave. His plans for me and my family are null and void, and he cannot have any part of me. That I rise with joy in my heart. I rise with favor and blessings in my life, and I am able to do all the things that I know I have to do today and for tomorrow. That I keep joy and I keep a stability in my personality to be joyful and happy throughout the day. I choose you, Lord God. I choose you, Holy Spirit, to help me so I have eyes to see and ears to hear in Jesus' mighty name. Go out and rise above everything that the world has to give you. Know that Jesus is with you. Rise and shine with Cindy. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.